One of the first videos we uploaded to this channel two years ago was called Why is Pride Still Important? But the question is still as relevant as ever. Every time Pride Month rolls around, or a Pride March is held, you get the same kind of responses. Why do we still need Pride? Don't we already have equality? When's straight Pride? Standard Bible verses? And why do you have to shove it down my throat? And what were all of these comments in reaction to? A post from McDonald's about two guys sharing a milkshake. Yeah, really. So let's get to it. Let's explain once again why Pride is still important. Pride is a celebration of love, freedom and acceptance. Its purpose is to spread hope, protest injustices and remember the lives of those who have been lost in the fight towards equality. Around the world, people continue to be killed, jailed and attacked for their sexuality. In fact, only in the last few days, reports have emerged of a lesbian couple who were attacked in London when they refused to kiss for a bunch of hooligans. Gay relationships continue to be illegal in 72 countries and in eight countries can result in the death penalty. With this kind of inequality going on around the world, Pride is a good opportunity to highlight this and to take time to protest and reflect on how LGBTQ people are being treated in different countries. That's because despite the progress that's being made in many countries, including the UK, in many places all over the world, it can be incredibly difficult for LGBTQ people. And remember, legalization doesn't mean acceptance. Data from Stonewall in the UK shows that over the last six years, the number of people who say they've experienced a hate crime within the last year has gone up by 78%. That means that 21% of LGBTQ people have experienced a hate crime related to their sexual orientation or gender identity within the last year, a number which increases to 41% when you're talking about trans people. In fact, the government's own reporting features similarly depressing statistics, with their findings adding that more than 90% of this abuse goes unreported, with respondents saying they didn't report it because it happens all the time. The report also finds that LGBT people are less happy with their lives than the general population, with trans respondents ranking their happiness especially low. And this isn't just the case in the UK. When you look at the stats from across the world, you see that even in countries which claim to be accepting, the reality isn't quite as positive as you might hope. 40% of people in the US think that being homosexual is unnatural, and the US has continued to roll back protections for trans people, with 128 trans people being killed in the US since 2013. And in France, attacks against LGBTQ people reached an all-time high in 2019. Any arguments that pride is unnecessary because we already have equality are so clearly false. Pride is a fantastic opportunity to show struggling LGBTQ people that they're not alone and will continue to fight towards equality. In the last few years, I've been verbally attacked because of my sexual orientation on a number of times. And I'm clearly lucky not to have had it any worse. There's far worse places to be than the UK for this. And of course, there are loads of LGBTQ people who have it tons worse than gay white men. But it's still a problem. The fact is that I don't live in a country where it's fully acceptable to be who you are. I hate that we live in a country where holding hands with someone you love is a sign of vulnerability more than it is of comfort. I am genuinely so jealous of my straight friends who can hold their partner's hands as a sign of reassurance. Sometimes when I hold my boyfriend's hand, I feel like we could be putting ourselves in danger, and I'm clearly not the only one who thinks this. That same government research I mentioned earlier found that more than two-thirds of LGBT respondents said that they avoid holding hands with a same-sex partner for fear of the negative reaction they'll receive from others. Pride is a safe space where people finally feel free to be able to express who they are. Pride is about so much more than companies changing their profile picture to feature a rainbow flag or cashing in with some rainbow products. The debate on whether rainbow products are or aren't sincere support and whether or not this is actually a good thing is a completely different debate, one we can have another time if you want. But it's clear that Pride has a real purpose as a protest and celebration that extends far beyond corporate sponsorship and drunken parties. However, if you are into corporate Pride opportunism, we do have some Pride merch out. You can check it out by clicking the link in the description and all of the profit from those lines goes to LGBTQ charities. Anyway, on from the corporate side of Pride, another common criticism is that Pride shoves sexuality down people's throats. And I don't even know what to say to this one. Sorry, we know how restrained straight people normally are with their sexuality for the rest of the year. So yeah, 
don't worry about gay people doing it just yet. So when someone next asks you why people still make a fuss about pride, remind them about the 72 countries where being gay is illegal and eight where it's punishable by death. Point out that the word gay to many people is still synonymous with bad. Say that a quarter of homeless young people are LGBT, meaning that LGBT youth are more than five times more likely to be kicked out of their homes. Point out that nearly half of trans children in the UK have attempted suicide and 80% have self-harmed. Talk to them about the horrific gay conversion practices. Tell them that 45% of LGBT pupils have been bullied at school for being LGBT. In the face of this, we cannot allow ourselves to grow complacent. We have to continue to fight. We have to continue demonstrating our pride. Oh, and for all the people who are asking where straight pride is, firstly, we don't need it. When straight people are being killed, harassed, beaten up, marginalised, start losing their jobs and being kicked out of their homes for who they are, then maybe it's something we ought to start discussing. Oh, and just FYI, there are already straight pride flags and marches. There isn't even just one straight pride flag. There's six pretty damn ugly straight pride flags. So maybe it's not the time to start complaining about the injustice. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to be notified when videos come out. We also create exclusive content and articles on other social media. You can find us by searching for TLDR News.